I created the Kenny Baker Star Wars profile file on my computer on August 3rd, 10 days before he died. I wish I could have gotten the video put together and uploaded sooner. It was a sad day for us Star Wars fans. Our favorite astromech pilot was no longer with us. His positivity was infectious. His enthusiasm was contagious. So let's celebrate the life of Kenny Baker. Kenny Baker was born on August 24th, 1934 in Birmingham, England. He was educated at a boarding school in Kent. Kenny's father was an artist, draftsman, and musician. His mother was a pianist and a dressmaker, both very creative people. Both of his parents were of average height. Baker first experienced show business in 1951 after being approached by a woman on the street who told him about a theatrical group starring dwarves. The group was called Burton Lester's Midgets. He learned how to ice skate while performing in the Billy Smart Circus, which led to him appearing in a large number of ice shows. He was hired by George Lucas in 1976 to sit in and control R2-D2 after performing in a comedy act called The Minitones. Quote, Kenny Baker was a real gentleman, as well as an incredible trooper who always worked hard under difficult circumstances. A talented vaudevillain who could always make everybody laugh. Kenny was truly the heart and soul of R2-D2 and will be missed by all his fans and everyone who knew him. Close quote. Baker put his footprints into the concrete outside of Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. Well, it wasn't technically his footprints. It was R2-D2's footprints. Since then, he appeared as R2-D2 in six of the Star Wars films. For The Force Awakens, he was credited as an R2 consultant. For long-distance shots of R2-D2, a radio-controlled version was built. This ultimately led to a lot of bloopers and headaches. But for close-up shots, George Lucas wanted a human inside, giving the droid a little more natural motion and the ability to convey emotion and express feelings. The job was given to Kenny Baker. He sat on a stool inside of R2-D2 while having his legs inside of R2-D2's legs. Baker operated the droid when R2-D2 was standing on two feet in shots. When the third wheel dropped down, the droid was pulled on wires or radio controlled. There's a rich history of performers in Star Wars that we don't see. People that, without the love and desire to know everything about the franchise that we fans have, might have not been recognized or acknowledged. Some performers wore masks and were never seen, yet we all know their names. That is a true testament to how much Star Wars means to all of us. The human characters are important, of course, the ones that we can see, but everyone has their favorite non-human character. And for many people, that favorite non-human character is R2-D2. Kenny Baker is credited with 39 acting roles ranging from Star Wars to Amadeus, from the Star Tours ride to Time Bandit, from The Elephant Man to Labyrinth. But his main contribution to our entertainment will always be R2-D2. He may have stood at three feet, eight inches, but his presence was larger than life. He was a positive guy, someone who always seemed to be thrilled just to be there. He was genuine and just seemed like a really nice guy. And isn't that what we should all be striving for? Being remembered as simply a nice guy. Thanks for everything, Kenny. You will be missed. Always with you, it cannot be done. It's like